Hi guys, so, so far in this chapter, you have learned about slope intercept form. And we've used it to graph and um, to write equations. And that's really good to use when you're given the slope and the y-intercept. There's another formula we can use when we're given a point and a slope. So instead of given the slope and a y-intercept, we're given a point on our line and our slope. And it's called the point-slope formula. Kind of makes sense, huh? So it says to write the equation of the line passing through the point x, y with a slope 1, you can use the point-slope formula. So here's what it looks like. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And this x1, oopsie daisies, this x1 and y1 will be given to you. They'll give you some point and you'll plug it in for x1 and y1. They'll also give you the slope, that m. So you can just plug that in there. So let's try an example. It says, write the equation of the line that passes through the given point and has the given slope. Write all final answers in slope intercept form. So all of our answers we're going to have to simplify and make it look like slope intercept form, which remember is y equals mx plus b. Okay, so let's do this first example. It says we're given the point 4, 1 and a slope of 2. So first thing I would do is label your coordinate. You have x1 and y1, and then this is my slope, which we call m. So if I plug everything into my formula, I'm going to rewrite the formula down here. So this again is called the point slope formula. Plug everything in where it belongs. So we said x1 was 4. So I'm going to put 4 there. We said y1 is 1. So I'm going to put that there. Then they gave us that the slope was 2. So that'll go where m goes. So it would be y minus y1, which is 1, equals m, which is 2, times x minus x1, which is 4. So all I did was plug in x1, y1, and my slope. Now, this would be my answer in point-slope form. But it's asking for the answer in slope-intercept form. So I need to solve this so it's y equal. So I need to get this y all by itself. So to do that, I'm first going to distribute my 2. And when I do that, I'm left with y minus 1 equals 2 times x, which is 2x. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. The last thing I'll have to do is add this one to the other side. I now have y equals 2x, negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. So I'm going to write it 2x minus 7. This answer is in slope intercept form because it does look like y equals mx plus b. And the reason you want to put it in that form is because that's probably the easiest form to graph from. All right, I'm going to let you try. Actually, I will do um, number two with you guys. Okay, so first things first, let's label our x1, y1. So they give me the point 2, 4. So that's x1 and y1. They tell me my slope is a half. So that is m. If I plug everything in, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plug in everything where it belongs. So y1 is 4. So y minus 4 equals my slope is 1 half. That's what m is. x minus x1 is 2. Notice that I don't, and I forgot to say this, but notice that I do not plug anything in for y or x. So you only plug something in for y1, m, and x1. You will never touch the y or the x. 
All right, so now that's our answer in point slope form, but it wants us in slope intercept form. So I have to solve this equation for y. So first thing I'm going to do is distribute my 1 half. So y minus 4 equals 1 half x. 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1. And lastly, to get the y by itself, I'd have to add 4 to both sides. When I do that, I'm left with y equals 1 half x, negative 1 plus 4 is positive 3. And that would be my answer. All right, I'm going to have you guys try number 5 on your own. Let's do number 6 together. So it gives me the point 0, negative 9, and says I have a slope of 4. So I'm going to label my first coordinate x1, second coordinate y1, and my slope is, of course, what m is. So I have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So if we plug in everything we were given, we know y1 is negative 9, so y minus negative 9. Be careful. It's always minus, and then our 9 is negative. So that's why we have y minus negative 9 equals m, which they gave me was 4, and then x minus x1, which they gave me was 0. So now I can clean this up a little bit. My y minus negative 9, that minus negative makes a plus. So that's like y plus 9. And then x minus 0 is just x. So now when I finish solving this, because this was my point slope form, and they want it in y-intercept, or slope-intercept, sorry, we're going to subtract 9 from both sides. When I do that, I'm left with y equals 4x, and I can't subtract the 9 from 4x. This is like plus 0. So 0 minus 9 is negative 9. So your answer would be 4x, y equals 4x minus 9. All right, go ahead and try number 7 on your own. Be careful with the negatives because you're going to have minus a negative 12 and minus a negative 5. And remember, minus a negative always equals a positive. All right, let's do number eight together. First label, x1, y1, my slope is m. My formula is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. If I plug everything in, my y1 is negative eight. So y minus negative eight equals, my slope is negative three times x minus my x1 is positive 3. So if I clean this up a little bit, my y minus negative 8, that minus negative makes a plus. So I have y plus 8 equals, distribute my negative 3, and I get negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And then my last step to solve this for y, to get the y by itself, would be to subtract 8 from both sides. 8 minus 8 cancels. I'm left with y equals negative 3x. 9 minus 8 is a positive 1. So my answer is negative 3x plus 1. I now would like you to try number 9 on your own. Now please try number 13 on your own. Lastly, let's do number 16 on your own. Once you finish number 16, you have completed the Ed Puzzle on writing linear equations given a point and a slope. Um, again, this is called the point-slope formula. So it's very important to use, or it's a little bit easier, I should say, to use the point-slope formula 
when you're given just that, a point and the slope. It'll make your life a lot easier. All right, if you have any questions, let us know.